Hello, everybody. Welcome to my craft room. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I got my order finally of all the new products from the mini catalog that's coming up and the celebration brochure. And I am excited to show you what I got. So I'm just getting this shared to my VIP group so that we can all enjoy. There we go. So I have no idea if anybody's going to come live, but that's okay. Because I'm going to go through the stuff I got. I'll tell you about it. And then the replay, replay will be there for you to watch. So if you're watching live, thank you. If you catch the replay, thank you. I'm also going to upload it to my YouTube channel. So it'll be there if anybody wants to watch it. And all the links can be found in the description of this video. Oh, I got some cool stuff. I'll tell you. It is amazing. Okay. We're just... I see somebody is watching. That could just be me. <laughs> because it's 3.30 in the afternoon on Friday. And in reality, who the heck is hanging around? But I wanted to go on and do this early so that I could start playing with it. So I have unpacked everything. And I've done some labels, and but I haven't opened anything yet. So it's from the mini catalog and the celebration brochure that both go live on the 5th of January. So anything that you see here this afternoon or on the replay is going to be available starting January the 5th. So the first thing is they have created, let me remove those, so, um, storage for the mint for the blending brushes and do you see what's in my hand there's now mini ones is that exciting so the big ones fit in there and the minis fit in there too just stand up just like that and it has no skid feet on the bottom. So if you have it sitting on your desk, it's not going to skid all over the place. So I thought I'd show that first so that I can get them out of the way, put them where they're going to live over there. That's part of my table. Now, let's go through the stamp sets and the bundles. So the very first stamp set I got is called Friendly Gnomes. Now, this one coordinates with the existing gnome dies. The kindest gnomes are retiring, but the gnome dies are not. So there's that stamp set. Look at this. There's no there's gnome one better than you. Isn't that cute? Gnome sweet gnome. Look at those cute gnomes. Now, I did see a controversial discussion the other day. Uh, one of my fellow demonstrators and friends in Australia had a discussion about whether these are crunks or not. Hi, Marsha. Now, I've never heard of a crunk, but apparently there's a difference between a crunk and a gnome. A gnome has eyeballs. Crunks don't. So if you're up on that folklore, let me know. Are, is this a crunk or a gnome? This one apparently is a gnome. I just love them. They've got a heart on that, some flowers. This is a little girl. Ooh. Yes, I'm going to enjoy playing with that one on my gnome dies, dies. Now, the second thing I'm going to show you is the Playing in the Rain bundle. Because I just need to get something in behind it so that you don't get the glare. There we are. So, Shanna and I are... Um, collaborating in on January the 28th on um, a mini retreat using this bundle. So there's the stamp set. Look at how adorable those images are. I love them. I like playing in the rain too. And Shanna had some issues because she lives in Edmonton where they don't get rain in the winter. So she wanted to call it playing in the rain and snow. <laughs> so it's got um, a bridge, the dies that cut out all of the images, including the clouds. Now, 
let me find it here in the pile. There is specialty designer paper that goes with this called Rain or Shine Specialty Paper. Now, I put the label on it, but I haven't looked at this yet, and I'm really excited. That's why I wanted to do it first, because this one has UV coating on it. That's what makes it special. So it's not foil, it's UV. So can you see on those clouds there, that white, that's reflective around the outside of the um, clouds. And the coolest thing is that this dye will cut out those clouds. Look at that. Isn't that neat? I'm excited. I want to start playing. Okay, so there's one sheet. Now, this one, let me go up. Just close your eyes for a minute because I'm just going to lift this up so that I can give you a wider angled view. There you go. Now you can get the fold. So this has got flowers on the bottom and then clouds and sky on the top. Now, what I've seen a lot of demonstrators doing is cutting out this middle section to use on a card. And then you've got the clouds to use and you've got a strip down at the bottom to use. And then it's got that on the other side. And then, oh, look at these. These um, you can cut out with the dies. So these dies are going to cut these little critters out. Look at those. Oh, my gosh. And the UV coating looks just, it's like they've put um, clear glue over the top of that because it's shiny. The raindrops are shiny. Some of the outlines are shiny. And then a lovely stripe on the other side. And this one, whoops, upside down. Raindrops go this way, right? They start, see the, those critters are stinking cute, Marsha. And there will be a tutorial only option for that class, Marsha, if you're interested in it. So these are raindrops on one. Oh, look at the blotches on that. Now, how fun is that going to be to use? More critters. Now, these ones, I think, I don't think there's dyes to cut them out. No, there's not. So these you would have to either fussy cut or use a circle. You can use a circle die on these because they are quite circular. And then um, some clouds and some pink and orange raindrops and some more raindrops. Raindrops falling on my head. Good thing I stopped singing it. Ooh, I love it. Can you, are you getting the reflection on this paper? Oh, and I like that side too. Oh, good Lord. I can see me using lots of sheets of this paper and a whole bunch of umbrellas. Now, is there an umbrella die? There is not an umbrella die. So if you wanted to use these, you'd have to fussy cut them or just use them as paper. Oh, look at the cool flowers. Okay, so that's the rain or shine specialty paper. Well, let's let me move it out of the way. So the reflection is fun. So that's the playing in the rain, rain bundle. And it coordinates with, hmm, where did I put my catalog? I need to see what embellishments. Oh, right. Right. So I want to show you the whole bundle at the same time. So the embellishments that go with that are these loose daisies. Shaker cards. Can you say shaker cards? Look at those. They're fun. Okay, showed you that. Going on. Legendary ride. Now we have we have people in our life that do motorcycles. My hubby owns a motorcycle. My one son does. The other son used to. 
the grandkids are into motorcycles and quads and all sorts of stuff. So I this had to be a part of my world. And there is paper and embellishments and an embossing folder. So legendary ride. Isn't that cool? And then there's the dies that go with them and their motorcycle builder dies. So you can cut out the, the motorcycle image, the big one and the little one, but then you can also build on top of it, like have a background and then build details on top. There's wheels, handlebars. Um, oh, look at all those tires. And things. Yep. Okay, gonna have fun with that one. And then there's the metal plate embossing folder. And I kept the pictures because sometimes these are hard to see in real life. There, can you see? This looks like metal plate. Just like the metal plate that you can buy to put in the back of a truck. So that's the stamp set, the dies, the embossing folder. Then there's paper. And when I looked at this, I thought, why do we have flowers in our ready to ride paper but i'm sure it will all be revealed when i open it up hey valerie it's okay you can catch the beginning on the replay so there's the embellishments these are called adhesive back studs they're part of the legendary ride suite and then we have the paper Fun. I need to know why there's flowers when I thought it was masculine paper, but I don't think it is masculine paper. All right. So we have um, black foil. Can you see that the background is black foil? Now, is it black foil or is it? Yeah, it's black foil. So it, it's been printed on the black foil. So the print is matte and the back of the floor, the black part is foil. And then we got some, that's cool on the back. There's motorcycle riders, there's coffee, there's train tracks, there's stop and go, all sorts of stuff. Oh, and tire marks. That's cool. And then, what's that called? Metal plate on the other side. Some tools. So the, the tools are black foil and the gray is just matte. Oh, look at that. Diners roadside diners can you see them all right and then this one looks like nuts hexagon nuts oh well that's different can cut these up and make them into card fronts that's cool look there's even a tag one And then there's checkers, checkerboard. Oh, and clothing on the back. Okay, this is fun paper. And that's quite the detail. And some motorcycles on the back. Now, do you think the dies cut those out? Let's have a look. I can get them off the tape. No, this one it will. So it'll, the dies will cut out some of them, but not all of them, because you need the ones that are facing in that direction. All right, so that's the that's the legendary ride suite. Put these back. I got half of my work done. I got all my labels made. 
so that I can um, just have fun playing with this stuff. Okay, next we have on the ocean. You know me and ocean stuff. I get it all. I always get it all. So we have the Seaside Bay bundle that I've showed you before that I already have and I've been playing and having a lot of fun with that bundle. And now there's this one. It's called On the Ocean. This one is rubber. Look at look at the waves. Isn't that fun? And birds. I'm hoping this year is full of adventure and excitement. And then there's the dies. So the die cuts out the ship. There's some two different kinds of waves. And then you can build your own ship. That is fun. Okay. On the ocean. Next, we have Around the Bend. Now, if you, some of you may remember, we had Curvy Christmas and Curvy, I think was the name of the other one that we had that was curved. And I really liked it. So this one is photopolymer. Got some nice big stamps, like full size stamps. Yes, the ocean one is yummy. I like around the bend too. This is going to be fun to use because it's got bends and circles. But look at this one. So you put this on your cardstock and it will cut out the corner of your cardstock. But look at the detail on that die. So it's not only cutting it out, it's embossing it for you at the same time. And then we got some scallops that are curved. And then, oh, this is going to be, look at all those flowers. Okay. I'm in love. I'm in love. Dots. Yep. Curvy verses. Yes, curvy verses. Thanks, Val. Oh, I'm hoping. I will have a lot of time this weekend. So this is one of the celebration. This is called In the Country. And it's got two stamps in it. Um, you can color this using Stampin' Blends or um, sponge daubers, the, the blending brushes. It's going to be fun. And, uh-oh. My computer just went blank. This is called Thanks a Bunch. It has carrots. It has carrots. I don't think we've had carrots before. This is celebration. So this one is $60. This one is also $60. So that's a level one as well. And then there's the other ones that I showed you because I haven't got them out here. So. Then we have Cane Weave 3D Embossing Folder. That's going to be cool to use. Let me open it up. See if I can get you. Can you see? I haven't, I haven't even had a chance to run these through the machine yet. But that one's going to be neat. Oh, and then when I was doing the... Playing in the rain. This is the embossing folder that goes with it. It's raindrops. Can you see the raindrops? Now, this is a thin one. So this one is 3D. So you would use the specialty plate with this one. But this one is just one of the thin ones. So you have a clear one on the bottom and a clear one on the top. I better not be paused still, Valerie. Because it doesn't look like I'm paused for me. So this is part of the playing in the rain suite. And you can, when you take our playing in the rain class, you get the stamp set is included in the price of the class. Then you can add on the dies for a special price. And you can add on the embossing folder also for a special price. 
then I think, don't quote me, but I think um, you get, I'm sure we're given these, given a package of these loose, loose daisies. I think those are free in the class. I can't remember. Okay, so those are the embossing folders. Then we have some embellishments along with, oh no, good thing that's in a container. Look what happened. Yikes, my container opened. Oh well, okay, so these are dragonflies. They are silver. They're very flat, can you see them? So very, very thin. So they're going to be nice to add onto a card, won't increase. I don't think that's even as thick as something with an, a dimensional underneath it. So these, you get 20 of them in a package. Those are cool. And then this is called Three Twine Combo, Coastal Cabana, Garden Green, and Pumpkin Pie. And this is the usual thick twine, but it's got a texture to it. Oh yeah, so it's kind of, it's twisted and it's got a texture. Can you see the texture there? That's gonna be fun to use. Can use those with the playing in the rain. Sweet. Then there's the navy blue bordered ribbon. Let's just open this up and have a look. So I was going to go live tonight instead of in the middle of the afternoon, but I've got a team thing tonight. So I figured I'd do it now and then people can just watch it when they can. So there's navy blue bordered ribbon. Let's see what kind of a bow it makes. I'm hoping because it's very thin, so it should squish down nice and thin for a nice, oh yeah, absolutely. Look at that. That ribbon is so cute. And Night and Navy goes with so many things too. Okay, put that back. Then we have some enamel dot essentials in black and white and crumb cake. I like those, holy man, they're nice and shiny. They're not matte. So the other ones we have are matte. These ones are glossy. And of course, the adhesive back pearls. Now I've showed you these before and I've already used two packages of them because they're fun to use and they're very flat, very, very, very flat. So they, they go on cards really nicely. And then opaque adhesive backed gems. So these are textured on the top. See if I can get them so you can see the texture. They're not round, they're faceted, I guess you call it. Can't show it to you because it won't show up very well. There, you might be able to see a little bit of it in there. So I would say this is gorgeous grape, and that would be sweet sorbet and fresh freesia, and either white or vanilla. That might just be vanilla. Those are nice, three different sizes. Now, don't forget that I've got my product shares too, and you can get a sample of all of these embellishments in the product shares if you elect to add the um, embellishments to them. And these are called adhesive-backed milky dots. And those are round and smooth and glossy. And I would say that's Pool Party and Night of Navy. 
don't know what those other two colors are, though. Let's find out. Glossy Milky Dots. Page 31, can't show can't show you, but I can tell you. Um, Night of, okay, so Mango Melody, Night of Navy, Petal Pink, and White is what they're calling those. These have a bit of a green tinge to them. They're kind of like um, soft sea foam. Wow, that sucks, Val. And we have the Happy Labels Pick-A-Punch. So this is one of the ones where you can put the three different sizes in there. And you, it's got a postage stamp edge on it. I'm trying to show you without showing me. There, postage stamp edge and a little scallop edge. Okay, so that's all that's in that. Now we'll go on to the papers because I've got a few papers. I've showed you the in the bay, by the bay designer paper already in the last one. And I got more because I've already used an entire package. So I'll just show go through. So this has, um, what are they calling it? It's got reflective stuff on the back. It's not foiling. Oh, Lord. Hang on. Let me tell it. Because it doesn't say on the package, but it says in here. Pearl. It's got gold foiling and pearl foiling on it. And you can see there where the pearl foiling is. So we have that with that on the back. And then we have some muscles. And we have some fanny things. And I've seen people cutting these and using them as waves on a card with that. What was that ocean set? That would be perfect with the ocean set, wouldn't it? Then gold foiling on that one. And some crabs. Now, some of these you can cut out with the dies. There's a fish school and some stripes. and wood grain on the back. So they got a bit of everything. This is fabulous to use. You just have to decide whether the, the light or the dark is your sky, because you could have it this way, but you can also use it this way. All depends on which way you want to use it. Then this one's got that funky swirly thing on it. And then there's a, more fans. It, these are kind of iridescent. And there's another gorgeous one to use. This looks really good with the uh, um, grassy grove dyes on top of it. And the aspen, the aspen trees, yes. So there's another school of fish and some birds. Now the dyes cut these birds out if you want to use them. And I think the crabs. And this one is in pinky tones instead of blue tones. And there's the last one. So that's the by the bay paper. If you have nothing else on your list, you need to put by the bay paper on your list because you will use it. It is so versatile and I can't get it back to the bag. So I'll just have to wait. Okay. And then there's country gingham. This one I haven't even opened yet. So let's see. Let's see what's in here. The package is so weird. Okay, so there is 48 sheets in here. So there's gingham on one side. There's red gingham, poppy parade probably. Oh, sweet sorbet. And then mint macaron on the other side. And then a bigger one with pool, balmy blue on it. And this one is kind of um, diamond shaped with mint macaron and then they've got the same ones in petal pink with balmy blue and more petal pink with mint macaron and finally the last petal pink with balmy blue 
Okay. All of those patterns are usable. Can you imagine using this along with a, that cute um, playing in the rain paper? Oh, yes, please. Now, I've showed you the dainty flowers before. I did not show you favored flowers. These are um, celebration papers. Because I haven't looked at this. I didn't order this one the first time around. So let's have a look and see what it is. Okay. Those are big flowers. But they're pretty. And they would be easy to fussy cut too. Oh, that's cool. Very usable. Oh, purple. Oh, Maria, where are you? Look at that. Cut. Use a big circle and cut that out and use it on a card front. That's an interesting pattern. Oh, yes. Definitely can fussy cut those. Those are gorgeous. Hmm, that's funky. Make a nice masculine card on the back. Some pretty colors. Oh, I like that. It's a nice neutral background on the back of that. Oh, yeah. More fussy cutting. Those are gorgeous. Okay, like that pattern too. And the last sheet. Wow. It's so pretty, and I like them on the black background like that, and then a geometric pattern on the back. So that's the favored flowers. That's a level one celebration item. Um, what are the other? Have I got any other? No. That's it for celebration. So this is called Enjoy the Journey Designer Paper. Now there is a bundle, stamps and dies that go with this, but I didn't get it, but I was intrigued by the paper. So I needed to get the paper called Enjoy the Journey. Okay, you probably can't see this all in one shot, so I'll just do this for you. Look at that. So it's the same pattern. This one is done in greens and that one is done in purples. What do you think? That's funky. That's gonna make really cool cards. Some trees in a, an ombre pattern. So it doesn't matter what part of this you use on your card front, you're gonna get trees on there. Mountain air, absolutely mountain air. Ooh, that would make lovely stripes on a card. This way or that way. Ooh, funky. Looks like northern lights. Look at it. And it's ombre too. It starts darker and goes lighter. Now this is garden green. Garden green. Shades of garden green. Looks a lot like mint macaron, though. Uh, okay, I don't like that. Sorry, was that my outside voice? This is cool. So the same thing. Got one side, it's pinks and oranges. The other side, it's blues and greens. So you'd get three card fronts with a strip in the middle, or, or two card fronts with a strip in the middle. That's a nice pattern too. I like it when they have kind of a neutral pattern on the back. And this one, another one, so green on the one side and blues and purples on the other side. This is really, oh, look at that starry sky on the back. This is really pretty paper. And finally, this kind of looks like a summer sky when there's lots of smoke in the air. Um, 
Hey, okay, no, I'm fond of that, but that's okay. Because I like this side. All right. So that's that. That's called Enjoy the Journey. It's on page 59. And then we have Delicate Desert. And I know I'm going fast with this, but I didn't want this to last like two hours. Okay, Delicate Desert. I like this. This is my style. Hmm, that's a funky pattern on that back side. And then this is kind of like an Aztec pattern. Hmm. This would look cool with that. What's that stamp set that has all the the plants and the hanging macrame pot? That's what comes to mind. And then we got kind of now this is in it's difficult to show you. Um, this is in kind of like a triangle. No, a diamond shape, but there's dies that are diamond shaped with this. That is a funky pattern. I like this. Love dots. Dots are fun. Yep, I like that one too. And then we have an Aztec, -y, another Aztec -y pattern in it. That one I would use. Okay, like that. Yes, please. And there's that same one that we saw right at the very beginning. The pinky one. There's the greeny one. Exactly the same pattern. Oh, yes. Like that. Oh, yes. Glad I got that one. More fun. And now this one is country floral. So this goes with the, the gingham one, the six by six gingham one. It's in the same suite. All right, little hearts on a checkered, not checkered. I don't know what kind of background you would call that. Can you see it there? It's a little hard to show. Next is an O's. Floral pattern. With some, these are hearts. They look like dots, but they're hearts. They're strings of hearts. That's pretty. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's going to be fun. You can do strips. Cut off a, have a strip and a strip on your card. Use them for the inside, use them for the outside. Yep, like that. Diagonal white stripes on a lovely blue background. What is this, balmy blue? Yep. Balmy blue. And some more flowers. And these are little hearts. Little hearts. I like the papers. Now, there is a punch in this suite that punches this shape out. So you can punch out. They make either hearts or you can put them together and make little heart flowers with them. And then some nice stripes. Now, what color is this red poppy? Oh, sweet sorbet. And finally, some geometric heart shapes and hearts on a sweet sorbet background. Yep. Now that's it for the designer paper. Now I'm going to show you the specialty paper. So I've already showed you this. Oops. Sorry. I just hit my camera. This is the fine shimmer paper. And I had to get more because I've almost used an entire package already. And the catalog hasn't even gone live. Okay. So we have um, 
soft succulent. So this is got it's a shimmery background, but it's smooth. There's no texture to it at all. But it's not shiny. And then there's fresh freesia. And gold. And you get two sheets of each of those. The fine shimmer paper. Then we have the textured shimmer paper. This one I'm excited to see because I haven't seen this one yet. And you get six sheets in here. Balmy blue, shade, balmy blue shaded spruce, and white. And it's called textured shimmer paper. So it's got like cord. You know the cord pants? I can feel it. Oh, that's cool. So pretty. Now these are one. Oh, I was going to say these are one-sided. These ones are not. These ones are double-sided. So you can have your ridges up or your ridges down. That's fun. And then there's the white. That's gorgeous stuff. Holy macaroni. The balmy blue, white, and shaded spruce. You just want to touch it. I love the texture on it. And one more thing and then we're done. And I have to clean up. <laughs> Vellum Basic Specialty Paper. Now, this one, when you get your catalog, this one is going to be very hard to see because they shot white paper on a white background. So I thought I'm going to have to highlight this one or we're not going to be able to see it. See, white on white, you can't see it. But put it on to a darker background and now you can see the pattern in it. So it's not flocked. It's just one side is shiny. One side is matte. And it's just lighter vellum on a printed vellum. That's so pretty. And you get six sheets. So you get two each of these. So there's that pattern. And then there's a polka dot pattern. Look at that. And there's no texture on this at all. There's no flocking. There's nothing. So you're going to be able to color this. We're going to be able to sponge it. Um, we're going to be able to use the blending brushes on it. Wouldn't it be, wouldn't this look cute with um, do that blends with alcohol technique on the back of it? And then the final pattern is a stripe, diagonal stripe. Yeah, be still my heart is right going to definitely be using this very very pretty and definitely the picture in the catalog does not do it justice look at this just look at that all right so i think that's it i've gone through everything that i got in my box well except for the dainty flower paper and i've already showed you that um when i did my last unboxing so the Chris, <laughs> christmas for the last paper yep and lots of it for next christmas then they'll come out with something else equally as awesome so this is that um dainty flowers celebration paper and I've done a couple of cards using this paper already. And it's fabulous. If you don't like this, then don't use it. Use this. Because look at that. This one. Make a card all by itself with this one. Here, let me pull this sheet out and show you. So it's got flowers on the top and flowers on the bottom. I would 
slice off about an inch and a half off of the bottom and then make either three or two or three card fronts and use this on the back of the envelope. And then you would end up with a little tiny strip right down the middle that you could use on the inside, on the other side. I haven't had a chance to do that with this paper yet, but I'm working on it. I'm thinking that might, Belle, that might be one of the cards we make in the birthday card class in Powell River in January. What do you think? Yes? All right. So thanks so much for joining me for my unboxing of all my new stuff. And now I can play. I'm excited. Um, if you are waiting for your catalog, I got celebration brochures in today. Everything is packaged up. So Monday they'll go off to the post office. There goes another hour out of my life standing in line at the post office because, you know, it's Christmas. But I got to get them out to you. Um, so you're going to get you're going to get the the big catalog. So this is one of the packages. You get the big catalog. You get the mini cat, the brochure. You get a letter from me and a wish list in there. All right. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. You know what I'm going to be doing in my craft room this weekend. Yep, new stuff happening. And I think I'm going to make a birthday card using that paper from the, the Dainty Flowers, this one that I just showed you. And that'll be birthday card number one for the class in January. Thanks so much, everybody. Have a wonderful weekend. And I'll see you soon on Monday night. Thanks, Valerie. Bye for now.